Hey guys, hope I'm here once again. I don't know what the hell I'm doing making another video. But I figured I might not have these after tomorrow. Uh, they're for people that are going to be at the show tomorrow. So I figure I might as well show them because one of them is just uh, probably one of my favorites that I've done in a while. Not my best work. Sorry guys, I keep saying that. I know. I'm an idiot. But anyway, so first up, uh, this one is... Hey, both of these aren't quite finished. Um, well, this one's finished. I just need to clean up some of the edges uh, just because it's uh, a little bit dirty. Um, but this one belongs to my buddy Sebastian. And uh, he dropped this one on me last minute, as he usually does. And uh, he just wanted me to do it before the knife show, so I was like, what the hell, why not? So uh, this is a CRKT bear claw. Uh, not a knife I've ever handled or used before, but it's pretty sweet. I've actually never owned a CRKT, ever. I've actually rarely even handled them. I don't know why, just kind of a brand I just I have no problem with them. I've seen some stuff I like, but I've just never really uh, got around to it, I guess. I just slept on it, as they would say. So this one is a little EDC neck knife, carbon fiber with the moon glow, the dirty moon glow, sorry guys. It's pretty sweet. Nice and contoured. It needs some touching up here and there. It feels very good though, just like it did before. Definitely like the way it feels. But once that's clean, you know, it'll look a lot better. I just don't feel like doing it right now. And it fits nicely in the sheath still. Nice little blown neck knife. It's gonna be short as possible, guys. I'm tired. I'm gonna get up at nine o'clock in the damn morning. So next up, I don't know why I did this one, but I did, and uh, I'm dubbing this one the Strider War Machine SNG, and I'll show you in a minute why. Now this one is not done stone washing. I know I have to I have to tell you guys that every time, uh, just in case anybody cries. But, um, oh, and by the way, uh, good advice on the gloves, guys. I mean, uh, I don't really need gloves. Mm. Next thing you know, you guys are going to tell me I need to wear a respirator, and I don't know, you guys are crazy. Of course I wear gloves. Jesus. The gloves aren't exactly uh, immune to everything, so. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay, guys. I mean, it hurts, but, you know, it, it doesn't hurt anymore or anything like that. But, you know, it happens. I've gone a long time without really you know, without an injury like that, so it's bound to happen. There's nothing I can do about it, so. All right, so next up, this is the Strider SNG. Now, this one was a Tiger Stripe blade. No longer Tiger Stripe. It's got a nice, almost stone wash on it. Hopefully I can get this one done by tomorrow. I'm just gonna have to leave it stone washing overnight, which might not happen, so. The owner of this, yeah, I'll bring it to the show. You can check it out, but uh, I'm not gonna give it to you. Because uh, the backspacer, you know, you changed your mind on the backspacer last minute, so I'm going to change that, and I need to stone wash it more. And I like to do some touching up just because I love it. Uh, and there's also the tiger stripe, uh, uh, the striping there, anodizing. You can kind of sort of see it a little bit still, but pivot screws been sandblasted, everything sandblasted and stone washed. And now here's why it's the Iron Man, or the, the War Machine. Strider SNG style, concealed carry scale, stone wash as well. Same with all the hardware, you can see all those scratches. It's getting there. Kind of like the aggressive scratch look, but you know, it looks a lot better when it's completely done. But at the moment, you know, it's it's getting to the point where it's almost perfect, so. But I'm gonna blend in these gouges and shit. So this is a titanium, and uh, yeah, just uh, took off. Since I stone washed it, took off the anodi or the uh, carbonizing I did. So I got to redo that. It's nice and centered. Uh, right now I got a green and black backspacer. Uh, I'm gonna be changing that to gray and black. Uh, give it that overall the better look to it. Um, but seriously, this thing reminds me of War Machine, and I think it's kick ass. 
And uh, you know, I did, it's not as drastic as the concealed carry. Um, it's very similar. You've got a beveled area right here, which is not on here. But these go down to like paper thin. I'm not about to do that, but it's close enough. Oh, also got to do the jimping up here. Hit. Thing is solid as hell. It's ridiculous. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Very happy with this one. The pocket clip, though, that's no good. I don't know what happened there. I didn't do that, but I'm probably gonna bend it for him. That's pretty bad. I don't see how you can slide that in your pocket, really. But uh, yeah, it's dull. Well, it's not too dull actually. It's just held an edge pretty well through the stone washer. That's a pretty good test of uh, edge retention right there, uh, going through a stone washer. So. This one still has a little bit of a uh, grab to it. It's, it's not sharp, but it's got a little bit of grab. So that's kind of impressive. I've never had that after that long in a stone washer. But I'm really happy with this one. It's really sweet so far. It feels really nice. Not too heavy. I mean, it is heavy, but hopefully i got to carpetize that bitch again. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I uh, hope to see y'all at the show tomorrow. And I haven't taken any emails or anything, guys, so if any of you are interested in the uh, Tough Thud, I have not been inside. I uploaded the video and just walked away, pretty much. Jesus. Yeah, I definitely need to carbonize this thing again. It's definitely locking pretty hard. I can do the quarter trick here. I don't have a quarter, so never mind. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.